Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is to answer a viewer question about devices that don't work. So one of the questions that arose is that the uh, viewer in question has a webcam, an external webcam, that he has received as a gift, and he plugs it on the computer, and it doesn't seem to work. So when he uses the camera app or when he tries Skype, it just says there's no camera there. Uh, one of the first things that you should check for that is if the driver is properly installed and working. And there's a quick way to see this. And it is to right click on the start menu or the start button and go into the device manager. In the device manager, if you see any devices that have a little triangle yellow triangle or something uh, a little red icon something's wrong and you can click on that usually you know because it's open so you see that everything here has a little arrow pointing to the right that means that that group of items is seems to be okay usually when one is not the group will be open and whatever is wrong is going to show that something's wrong if you see this then click on it and see what's the error message. It might be that there's no drivers that it finds. It might be um, any other detail. If you haven't tried it, try it in a different USB port. That is something that you can do. Uh, you can also force it to read the text. So you can click that uh, device that has that yellow triangle and you can right click and click uninstall device. When that happens, then you can go back when it's disappeared and just uh, scan for hardware changes. This might actually uh, help you reinstall it correctly. And don't forget, if you have a device that seems not to work, the best other bet, the best other thing you can do is to go to the manufacturer website. So, for example, in a Logitech webcam go to the Logitech web page, search for the model number of your camera, your webcam in this case. And by the way, we're talking webcam, but any device that you guys could plug in that doesn't show up, uh, you should be checking that to see what's happening. And go to the manufacturer's page, find your device, and download the software and drivers that they have. They might have something that is actually going to be um, showing up and saying, okay, well, here, um, this is the driver, and maybe that's going to work. It's not impossible that a device might have or be detected with an older driver, and you need to go to the website of the manufacturer for a more recent one. So these are all things to check for, but first start by right-clicking the Start button, going to the Device Manager, and check out if any of the devices is wrong or not working well. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.